and welcome back. We're going to be doing Spinning and Daffodils in this one, another Them Crooked Vultures tune. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a bit of an opus, really. It's a long, long tune. Now, the tuning in this is interesting because I believe it's the only other tune that I know that is in this tuning. That's right. It's in the same tuning as Daughter, so your low E goes all the way up to G wince while you tune that one up. The A string goes down um, two frets or one step to G. So those are the same. And then you've got D, G, B, stay the same. And then your high E goes down to D. So a bit of a weird open G tuning. So let's crack on and learn this. So tone wise I'm going for the Stone Def Effects Key Boost. Does that nicely. And a quick note on technique for this one. It's quite an unorthodox riff, as with a lot of um, Josh Homme's playing actually. But your right hand should be quite, um, quite loose don't press down too hard on the strings, I would I would recommend. So And my thumb is on the back of the neck there, right? Just very, very, very lightly, so you know my hands can do that quite comfortably. So that's just kind of the sticking point on the back there, right? You know, how however you wanna fret that. I'm using my first and my fourth finger just because it's comfier. So that is the first riff. You've got two. I'm going to call these by string six, five and four, okay, because I'll just get confused. So string six, two on that, and then you've got the seventh and eighth fret. I'm using my first and third finger there. And you do a slide down one fret, slide up, slide down. So one bar would be, that goes around about four times and then he moves up to the 10th fret and the 12th fret on the A and D. All right, or, which I find comfier, uh, and then back down. So that is it, right? So very slowly. And the second one is, it. Now, he combines this. He combines that with... Alright, so there all you're doing is playing... These are octaves basically. You might hit the um, the open D as well. Doesn't matter if you don't hit that or if you do hit it, it really doesn't make too much difference. I think he plays it, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but the first riff then goes. So you start off on the seventh fret, right? So rather than playing, you play. You've got that first octave in there. three of those before you play six seven nine six and you slide from the seventh fret to the ninth um, to get that ninth fret one right all right so the first one and then around again and you do three open Slide really quickly from the 7th fret to the 10th. Alright, and then you play this rhythm. And then you go back around that riff again. Alright, so, slowly. Now you may 
of seeing him do the acoustic version where he puts in a, f a lot more of that. Puts in a few more of those extra bits and pieces. That was just the eighth fret on the B and the E there, on the first and second string. So the chorus is cool. There's a lot of changes of time signatures. So you've got to watch out for that. But first one goes. So again, you're playing a few chords. Like that. Into disperse with. But the amount of times he plays it changes. The first time he plays it, you play four. Second time he plays three. Back in again, right? And then he plays two. Alright, so you're gonna play followed by four again, then three again, then two. Alright? Then you play this motif around twice. And then you play it again, but you extend it slightly. So you've got three on the seventh fret there. And then... So all the way around to speed. variation in the second verse he does this um, over the sharpen your teeth my darlings and it plays this that is just six seven six six Four, three, four. Then you go six, seven, nine, six. So three times round the phrase and then an additional three. Which is the same as we played earlier, right? He puts in a couple of extra bars on the acoustic part, so he'll come out of that. Then he goes into this part. Alright, but the album version actually plays. So it just goes straight in, right? You cut out the two that I've labelled as acoustic version extra bit. So, this next section is called two open, and then you go fifth and fourth um, string, hammer on to the third fret, and that's the open third string, right? Then you play the open um, third, sixth string again, and then second fret and third fret pulled off, right, from the third string, fourth string. Sounds like there's more going on than there is, but the, the, the lead into the riff goes. All right, and then you repeat this round. You just repeat that round a load of times. I'll play it once more slowly. Another slight variation in the verse part, he plays this. Three, four. Basically, you hang on this one, the seventh. You count six beats. You go down to the fourth fret and then up to the ninth. 
slide from the seventh to the sixth. And then you hit the fourth. And then you've got that little bit. Two, four, six, four. But with the octave. And then you tag in a variation of this bit. That's all the same, but then you play this straight. Rather than rather than that pushed uh, version, right? So it's just eighth notes. And you can do some funky stuff there, right? Now the outro section is just one phrase repeated round and round, um, but it's difficult to play it um, the the low E part because obviously you've you know you've tuned up to G. So what um, the, the two guitar parts tend to split off, but the um, best one to play I think is is Josh's. So we're going to play. <laughs> right and goes round. So the first time I'm playing the ninth fret, I'm putting my first finger on the eighth fret there on the uh, second string and the rhythm is like that right so you play that three times. Then you go right ninth twelfth sixteenth and then you go for the same uh, same pattern. Then you do 16, 14, 17. Sixteen, fourteen, thirteen. And then down to the 12th fret. So that's slowly. To the end. So first time you start on the ninth and thereafter you go to the twelfth. And repeat round. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. Bye bye.